There is shock today over the murders of a beloved family doctor, his wife, and their two grandkids. 70-year-old physician Robert Leslie and his wife Barbara were found slain in their home. Beside them were the bodies of two of their grandchildren, ages five and nine. The fifth person killed was an air conditioner repairman who was shot outside the house along with a co-worker who was in critical condition. He managed to call his boss who called 911. He just keeps saying, I've been shot, I've been shot, call 911. We've got four down, four down inside the house. Everybody in the house, nobody go upstairs until we make sure this bottom floor is clear. Drone, on the way. But as the citizens of Rock Hill, South Carolina, absorbed the news of the slayings, they were hit with another jolt. The suspect was identified as a local hero, a former high school sports star who was drafted into the NFL and became a professional football player. With me, I have Philip Adams, number 28. Are you excited to play our opening game, Monday Night Football? Oh, yeah, very much so. Adams, 32, played for the Oakland Raiders, the San Francisco 49ers, the New York Jets, and other teams. He left the NFL after six seasons in 2015 as a cornerback and reportedly moved back to his hometown. A lockdown was declared, and following an eight-hour manhunt, Adams reportedly shot himself to death as cops closed in on his house where he lived with his parents, about a quarter mile from the doctor's mansion. Adams' devastated father spoke to a reporter. He was a good kid, and he, uh, I think the football messed him up. Um, you know, I, I don't think he ever did anybody any harm. So all I can tell you, we pray for the family that, uh, uh, and I, I it used to be my doctor, doctor, a long time ago. Dr. Leslie was a board-certified emergency medicine physician. He and his wife of 35 years had four children and eight grandkids. At a news conference today, the sheriff read a statement from the doctor's family. We would like to address the outpouring of heartbreak, shock, grief, and support from our family, friends, and community. We are truly in the midst of the unimaginable. Heather Cook was a patient of Dr. Leslie. It sounds like he really cared for his patients. Emphatically, and he was well known for it. Everybody loved him. Um, everybody loved his whole family. They were happy, good people. Dr. Leslie was interviewed in 2017 about the flu season. We've had a pretty active season. He was also the author of a memoir, Angels in the ER. He wrote, 25 years in the ER have taught me a lot of things. I know without a doubt that life is fragile.